Several students are facing charges after Warner Robins police say three weapons were found on school campuses this week. 41 NBC's Joy Dukes joins us in the studio. Yeah, Michael, just a week ago, the school district was addressing several threats from students to shoot up their schools. And now three other students will face the consequences of actually bringing guns to school. Police in Warner Robins say they're not taking any of it lightly, regardless of how innocent it may have been. A week after five students were arrested for making terrorist threats to schools, police say charges are pending for two more students in Warner Robins who brought guns to school. The school resource officer for Warner Robins High School was notified uh, by administration that a student had a BB gun in his backpack. Later that same day, a second student was found to have a BB gun in their possession. The 15 and 16 year olds were reported by another student and teacher. Both those students um, will receive discipline through the Board of Education, but we will also file charges through the Hassan County Juvenile Division with possession of a weapon within a school safety zone. Then on Tuesday, a first grader at Northside Elementary brought an airsoft gun to school. The airsoft gun was still in its wrapper, and uh, the student wanted to show it to his friends. Uh, one of the students saw it and immediately notified a teacher. Warner Robins Police Chief John Wagner says, much like the threats they received last week, they're taking these incidents very seriously. I hope these students learn and, you know, other, other students that are seeing this learn that this is not, again, a joking matter. You do not bring weapons to a school. A BB gun is a weapon, an airsoft gun is a weapon. And, uh, you know, you'll be charged with such. Police say the discoveries are unrelated and charges will be filed through the Houston County Juvenile Office. Though that first grade student is too young to charge, he'll face administrative punishment through the school system. Parents were notified about the incident through an automated message sent out by the school district. District spokesperson Beth McLaughlin de declined to comment on the incidents. Michael. Chief Wagner says students and teachers reporting these incidents were a great example of seeing something and saying something. He's encouraging anyone who sees anything suspicious to do the same.